The Polygon Matic boom is here, and it burst on the scene in the last couple of years. Polygon Matic, one of my favorite top 10 cryptos out there. I think it's destined for the top five uh, in the near future. Market cap right now of about $10.5 billion. And recently, Polygon Matic just dipped down below a dollar. Now we've seen a nice little resurgence in the overall cryptocurrency market. Right now, Matic trading at about $1.22. For me right now, I love looking at Matic under a dollar. As soon as it gets down to those levels, I'm looking to add more to my personal position. I've been doing that over the past two and a half years or so. Uh, way back in 2021, we started talking about Matic when it was uh, you know, trading for a fraction of where it's at right now. And what we saw last year was something very unique. And it was really the main crypto that was driving Web2 to Web3 adoption, right? Companies coming from Web2 looking to adopt crypto. For instance, Starbucks started their NFT program. What did they use? Polygon. Uh, Mercedes-Benz getting into crypto. What did they use? Polygon. DraftKings, NFTs, they're getting into crypto. What did they use? Polygon. So you're starting to see the trend here. A lot of these Web2 companies want a piece of crypto. They want to get in. Polygon allows them to do it. Why? It's because of their tech. And Ethereum's popular scaling solution, also known as Polygon Matic, was undoubtedly, undoubtedly a star performer in the crypto world last year. And also, by the way, a star performer to start 2023. Now, if you don't know what Polygon is, it's a blockchain network that enables faster and cheaper transactions on the Ethereum network using a combination of Plasma framework and the proof of stake consensus mechanism. Polygon was launched in 2017 and the entire network is aimed at solving scalability, interoperability, and user experience issues that are prevalent with the Ethereum ecosystem. Why are those issues prevalent? Because Ethereum is a layer one, and it's hard for it to scale, right? It's very secure, but it's hard for it to scale. With Ethereum's current block time of about 13 seconds and transaction fees sometimes reaching exorbitant levels, especially when you're trying to buy land, <laughs> in the other side metaverse, the Polygon network has become an attractive alternative for developers and users. That's why you're seeing the big adoption from Web 2 to Web 3 and why I think it'll continue to be a mainstay in the top 10 for years to come. And I think it has probably 8 to 10x upside in the next bull cycle. And you can't say that for all of the cryptos in the top 10. So Polygon Matic has achieved, again, a ton of success. And recently, by the way, uh, they acquired a major NFT collection from Clayton, a network associated with one of uh, South Korea's largest business groups and conglomerates. So uh, this move demonstrates Polygon's irresistible appeal to the commercial world. We mentioned that throughout this video. That is going to be something to watch over the next three to five years, because we're going to see even more Web 2 to Web 3 crypto adoption. And I think you know, Starbucks going with Polygon is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of loyalty rewards programs, for example, right? These can completely be redesigned now on the blockchain, right? Where it's not just a punch card. You can actually control your rewards and trade them with other people who go to Starbucks. There's a lot of opportunity here for Polygon, and I'm absolutely loving where they're positioned. So let me know what you guys think about all this down below. But happy St. Patrick's Day. Enjoy it out there. Be safe. We'll talk to you in the next video.